Homefront is a straightforward action film about a retired DEA agent who's living a quiet and peaceful life with his daughter in a small Louisiana town. When he crosses the family of a local drug lord named Gator, all bets are off. Jason Statham is the hero, James Franco is the bad guy, and the movie was written by Sylvester Stallone. So you know, this one's going to be more about action and less about talking. Two years after an undercover operation went wrong, Agent Phil Broker has gotten away from that life and now lives with his little girl in the same small town that his deceased wife grew up in. But when he crosses the meth-addicted family of the local drug lord Gator, that quiet life quickly comes to an end. Unfortunately for Gator's boys, Phil still happens to be a badass. Now knowing that this guy just isn't someone he can steamroll over, our big bad guy looks into Phil's background and he contacts some bigger, badder men from the agent's past. The idea of the undercover martial artist guy retiring to the small town and beating the crap out of the evil locals is nothing new to the action genre. In this film, the action is really sharp and well done, and oftentimes it's pretty damn brutal. Jason Statham as Broker, well, he plays the character he plays so well, the guy that'll endure anything and stop at nothing till the job is done. I didn't see James Franco, though, as this bad guy, but as Gator, he's entertaining and he's a bit slimy. I kept looking off at his girlfriend going thinking, man, that actress looks a lot like Winona Ryder because it was Winona Ryder. I had no idea she was going to be in this movie, and she's really good at being scuzzy. In Homefront, a father who just wants to protect his little girl is pitted against meth-addicted rednecks who clearly don't know who they're messing with. A sequel is already in the works, but I wonder what subgroup of Americana Jason Statham is going to beat the crap out of next. Personally, I'm hoping for the cast of Jersey Shore.